Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kev, and yesterday we're going to be going back to the Amazing Band of Brothers series. Uh, completely addicted to it at the moment, as you are aware. This time it's episode 4, and it's called The Replacements. So yeah, before we start, I do have to show you a new purchase of mine. Have a look at this. Oh! So I've had this shipped over from America, uh, purchased it the other day, yeah. I just wanted to show a little bit of support. Um, obviously I'm just a little guy in the north of England, but I thought if I wear something, you know, just to, just to represent, represent for the guys. At the end of the day, um, I have had a few people um, who have messaged to say that I'm doing a good job. Uh, people who have been in the Airborne, people whose family have been in the Airborne, even somebody whose grandfather fought under winters, uh, which is absolutely mind blown thank you so much for messaging uh, meant everything so yeah just a little bit of support Kurahi, just yeah yeah you know you know you know if you know but yeah absolutely loving this show at the moment um the replacements yeah um just kind of going off what it says obviously i'm sure that there will get a lot of people will get replaced because i do know that they said the loss they say it was 80 86 people I think 86 yeah something along them lines so the will needs to get some new people come in so we've probably seen some new faces coming along uh, uh, on this one which i'm excited about um absolutely loved the last episode uh very brutal um yeah uh i felt sorry for for what happened to blythe um and uh and lip and uh, uh yeah it's, it's just it's so kind of immersive and intense uh yeah you literally you don't know whether you're coming or going um emotional wise so i kind of have to g have to g yourself up for this for this type of episode this type of show um but yeah i'm ready to go absolutely if you're enjoying the channel please hit the like button and subscribe and i do put the full length reactions to Vander brothers on my patreon uh, i will leave a link below um if you want to go and check that out but yeah let's go on and have a look and i'm just excited to get into it the replacement I don't think a show has had uh, this much of an emotional impact uh, on me as any show recently. I'm drinking some coffee. Normally I need a drink when I'm watching this, like an actual drink. But that's so they have to go back to France, don't they? Yeah, they got called back. Lip had to tell the lads. Got it. Spears. <laughs> I've got a feeling I'm going to end up liking Spears. I have a lot of people say in the comment section that uh, on D-Day there was no um, prisoners to be taken, which kind of makes sense. Uh, it, the brutal realities of war. Mm. Where, where were they going to put them? Yeah, I still, still, Bill, still one of my favourites. I like Joe Toy as well. <laughs> Joe got blown up loads uh, when they were taking the guns. He got hit twice, I think. Oh, I haven't seen that yet, that part with Buck. Buck looks absolutely shell-shocked a bit. Oh. Are we going to see the guys again? No, I love it! How are gents? The core men, that's the ones that was there at the be very beginning. The core. They are very close. Well, most of them were, we know, were qualified parishes. They had to be. A lot of them were awfully green. We hoped we could keep them alive, or they could keep alive. A lot of them didn't. Uh. I think maybe they were trying to impress the older guys, but uh, I got right there to where I didn't want to be friendly. I see them get killed. I just, it just tore me up. Because we were in awe of them. They were, they were wearing infantry badges, you know. They were like heroes to us, you know. That's how we look at them. So he's a and replacement. They were good. Furthermore, they were good. We had good officers for the most part, but we had excellent NCOs. Right, so the, okay, this is, this is going to be about the replacements coming in and getting killed and surviving and trying to blend in. Oh, uh, they're still in England? Oh, they haven't left yet. Because they said they're going back to France, haven't they? We still got a shot. Oh, Buck, that's the worst shot ever. Tough break. You're having a tough. Oh no! Th what are they doing? Are they, are they hustling? Oh! 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 Oh!
good thing we weren't gambling. Oh, right? boy, we would have gotten killed. What? You want to bet? What? You want to bet? No. Don't do that. You're getting hustled. First one to hit the bullseye. It's two packs. 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 Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, he's the hustling the shit out of him. I'm in Sergeant Randleman's squad. Us too. Uh, I'm Wes Hashi. Lieutenant, uh, you're going to shoot lefty all night. Hey, come on. Just curious, because he's right-handed. George. What would I do without George Luz? Boop. Oh! Oh, totally hustled. Heffern's just staring up at the nose of the plane because on it, I painted this beautiful pinup. And underneath, Darling Doris, but a skirt, who just that day sent Babe one of them letters. Overruns our drop zone. Babe don't have to risk getting inside old Doris again. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> probably think he's a fucking hayseed. <laughs> oh. What are you laughing at? Oh. Uh... The proper rag in the month. Boys, you pay attention to Sergeant Random. He seems to know what he's doing, ball like. It's a presidential distinguished unit citation for what the regiment did in Normandy. You weren't there. Kick it off. Oh. Hey, he's up, cop. Ah, oh, it's, oh, it's harsh, but I, oh, I don't know what to say. Ah, oh, it's still a unit citation, though, but he wasn't there. Shit, cop. You didn't fight in Normandy neither. <gasps> Got hit in the plane before I got a chance to jump. Oh wow! Car will lift him, the new Easy Company first sergeant. Way. Well done, Liv. We're moving out again. Drink up, boys. You know, you go from such kind of like a high to such like it's almost like getting the wind knocked out of you. You're not talking about having to realize you have to go back to work. You, you, it's de life and death. More death. Operation Market Garden. Our job is going to be to liberate Eindhoven. Oh, dude. Stay there. Wait for the tanks. It'll be a daytime jump. Intelligence doesn't expect much opposition. They think the crowds in Holland are mostly kids and old men. And we should take them by surprise. You want to live? Jump ready to fight. Already getting the guns out ready to rock and roll. Yes, bro. He looks like a proper soldier. I got the cigar in. Zero fucks given. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. It's like a ghost coming back from the past. But he trained them up. Probably most of them are still alive because of him. <laughs> they didn't let me out. He got shot up the ass, didn't he? <laughs> I didn't want to get reassigned to some other unit. Yeah. Ah, uh, I love sure that. He doesn't want to get reassigned. I right, cool. oh, love it. Popeye went AWOL just in time to jump. Well, he's the newly appointed regimental S4. Supply officer. He just said I was lucky. I could sit out this jump if I wanted. I love the fact that he's gone back instead of them, um, like, waiting, because he might have got reassigned if he'd waited, because they'd, they'd have gone, and he would have been sent to a different group. You thought you'd get away with it? What do you mean, sir? Sergeant, that... Motorcycle is United States Army property. Oh wow, he's still a dickhead, isn't he? When the green light comes on, you could just tap me, all right? Oh, he's colorblind. We'll be next to you, sir. Just do it. That's an order. Sling oh. it up and down. When you hit the ground, your knee will hit the butt. The business end will break your jaw. All right, lose your reserve. You won't need it. We're jumping low. Take your belly band, wrap it around. You're fine. Oh, what a fucking boy. Oh, mm. I would be all right if he was just. You just come on me, Bob. Them all coming out the sky, man. I think if I mean if you were a say if you were a paratrooper, you're in there, they're in the airborne, and you know you you've come in as a replacement, and you see these guys with the with the stripes and the jump wings, and that they've, they've they've done a tour and that you would look at them like they were gods. You'd you'd hold them all in like such kind of a high esteem. Where'd you get that from, Uber? What's he doing? He's got some beer. I think I love Holland. <laughs> There's some kind of hold up ahead. Uh, we're going in through this field here. Oh, careful, love, don't open the window. Oh, now she's just sticking a towel out. She could have had a fucking napper blown off. Hey, 
Let's see the colours. Oh, wow, he's getting stuck right in. Go on, Talbot, son. We got work to do. Go on, Talbot, lad. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, fraternising. Did they fraternise with the Germans when they were there? Now they've been liberated, the take, and they're going at the, the women who maybe slept with the Germans. What did they do? They slept with the Germans. Oh, okay. He says he can help us secure the bridges here. Well, we're still working on that right now. Look how young is he? They're kids. These are reliable reports. Be into town in case we're here for the night. If you are in that town, you wouldn't want to get sent to the edge. You'd be like, no, I want to stay here. The, the females are quite friendly. Can I just, can I stay here? I don't want to go. Sleeping outside is for suckers, guys. Niederlander! <laughs> Sprechen say English? Yeah? It's an air raid shelter. Yeah, they don't uh, tell us very much. Or feed as much. Yeah. <laughs> Wait here. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. Go read this, it's good. Ah, oh, he's got a youngin. Oh, he's got a chocolate bar. Yes, Webster. Hmm. There it is, the cho that chocolate, the chocolate hit. You never tasted chocolate. Sad. Gonna be some battle here, I think. Don't eat. Be careful. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Lieutenant! Oh, it's bad. That's bad. He's gonna get hit. Oh, sword! Shit! The way they set that up, back, you can just tell. Oh, he's been hit in the neck. Oh. oh, he's done. He's down, stay still. Oh, man. He'd be shit. Oh, no. The, the medic's been hit as well. Oh, my God. He's just squirting everywhere. Oh, mate. I get so nervous because you just don't know what's going to happen. Like, there was a really touching moment with Webster there. That, you know, he could just run out and get shot in the head. So they said that this town was mostly going to be covered with old men, like, and old people. Oh, dude. Clear the clear it. Come on, Bill. <laughs> I haven't seen Bill for a while. Careful. Do it, do it, son. Don't go over it, just go through it. Blind. We've had a craft tank! Only guys on the left body says that! My orders are no unnecessary destruction of property! Ah, oh, dude. He's right there! I can't see the bugger, I can't bloody well shoot him, can I? I'm gonna see you real soon! You are so dead. Oh no! If you had it aimed in the, at least in the direction. There we go. Why isn't he, he isn't even looking? But nothing to say. Holy shit. Oh, wow. They've just been waiting for the tank to unload. Oh my god, if that tank wasn't there to cover him, he'd have been wiped out. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, there's quite a few of them. You were dead before you even hit the floor. Get some fire in that window, man. Howie, how a bell. Oh no! It's not gonna fucking crush him, is it? Ah, oh, Bull hasn't been killed, has he? Oh, what a shot! <laughs> no, like, unnecessary destruction of property. That fucking annoys me. As long as the place is empty and you're not going to kill innocent people, get it blown up. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Wow, there's loads of them. So the resistance is a lot stronger than expected. Pull it back, Gally, pull it back. I'm not sure. Sir, they're about to have flight because we gotta get out of here. Yeah, don't panic. Don't freeze up. Oh, <laughs> you are so close. Oh, so lucky. Wow. I don't know, Sergeant. Where is Paul? Oh, he's still. Miller! Come on. Oh, he's had his fucking head blown off. Wow, man. Whoa. Uh, who's been hit? Who's been hit? Who is it? Is that book? Go get a medic, keep moving! He got shot like three times? What the fuck? What? It went side to side, it went straight through. Get him out of here, go! Leave me here for the Germans. What? Okay. You nuts! Who carry you? Are you kidding me? You are fucking kidding me. Come on! I don't think so, book. Oh man, yes, boys. Let. I don't think we know where the bullet is now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One bullet, four holes. So it's gone straight through. How oh, bad? I don't know yet. What? Thanks. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> Am I all right? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, quit looking at me like that. Oh, I nearly shit myself. I thought Nixon got shot in the head. Oh. Cap, we got four dead, eleven A fucking panic attack? Okay. Wow, that was so like, it was so sharp and brutal, that. They've been, oh, they got, they got done in, really, to be fair. There was a lot more of a resistance than expected. So was it just underestimated? I don't... We normally never see them. Is it gonna be bull? Wow. I wouldn't I'd have just been happy where I was kind of down there out the way. I'd have been much I'd have felt much safer. You'd be absolutely shitting yourself. Oh would you right? Just the adrenaline would be pumping. Lieutenant Brewer is gonna make it. Nah, there's no way. He's headed back to England. They'll probably send him home. He survived. Wow. Wowzer. I thought the way he was uh, leaking blood, I thought there's no way. Did he get shot? 
Oh, shit, son. Oh, sorry, mate. This is going to fucking sting. Oh my god, he is fucking rock him, like. Me fingers are two-thirds of season knife just to dig into it and get out what it is. Oh, dude. Oh, it's a massive bit of shrapnel. Just pack it. Oh, no. Oh, shit. They're gonna go searching everywhere. Oh no. It's gonna give them away. There's four of them. Oh mate, I don't care how hard you are. If they see them, they're gonna just kill them all. God knows what they'll do to her. Oh no. Oh, he looks scared as well. Bell's gonna get him. Oh, that was a headshot. That was a f oh. Had to be done though. At the end of the day, he's, uh, to be fair, he's quite lucky that there was an airplane going over at that time to like dull the sound. If there ain't nobody, then there ain't nobody fucking dead. Mm -hmm. I'll go. Me too. Good lads. Go get him. Uh, they're trying to just make. They want to make the that like kind of get their respect from the lads, which is understandable. Webster. Oh my god, there's a shit ton of them. It's the whole battalion moving out. Stupid. 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 God, it must have been so hard for the civilians. Jesus. I mean, it was hard enough for the, for the lads going over there who were trained to see this type of thing. Bombing Eindhoven. Giving so many orange flags at us tomorrow. Just wait until the morning. He's just gone off. He's just like, I'm on my farm. Oh, the lads are going to be there. One of his men, wasn't it? One of his, one of their bulls replacements. Bowl man, <laughs> what a buyer! Ah. Oh, he's gonna see the boys. Oh, I love this. <laughs> yes, the ball. <laughs> Where the fuck you been? <laughs> glad to see you, boys. Not as glad as us. Johnny, what? Yes, Bill. I told these scallywags you was okay. Well, they didn't listen. Uh, these salty bastards, they wanted to go on a suicide run to drag your ass back. Is that right? I like that. Yeah, I told them don't bother. <laughs> Never did like this company, none. <laughs> All right, mount up. Hop up. Let's move up. We're moving out. No rest for the wicked. Wow, he's like, I've still got claret all over us, man. I haven't rested yet, and let's go. What happened to Buck? Quake says that the Germans are concentrating their armor up near Vagel. Well, as long as there's only old men and kids. Exactly. How are the other divisions faring up north? I think we're going to have to find another way into Germany. Mm. 
Wow. It's Christ, okay. <sighs> okay, um, another unbelievably spectacular episode. Um, I'm kind of starting to run out of, like, words to describe this show. Um, it's, it's kind of got everything. Um, it had a lot of, a lot of action, obviously, you know, because, you know, they're in a war. But the way they've, they've told the story is, uh, is the guys as well. Um, it's building how, how much the camaraderie meant between, like, between everybody and how important it was and how, like, by having a good leader, um, how that, how that can either, or just for having a leader, whether, how much they respect them or not, has a, a huge impact on whether they'll follow them and how, how far they'll go out of the way for them. Um, you know, you look a bull there, um, I don't know how much of that story was true, uh, whether the real Randleman, uh, got caught behind enemy lines and stayed there till the morning, um, I'm guessing something like that happened and the men were sent after him. These men went willingly. They went, they went, try to find him. Uh, would they do that for Sobel? Mm, me thinks so. fucking not. So it would, it's all about the, uh, the respect that's, that gained as well. They wanted that, you know, for those of you who were watching, who have served in the military, um, especially in, in, in something like this, so, so, uh, you know, you know, somebody who's served something like this, it's, you know, it's all about the leader. It's all about that person that you're following into battle. Not only that, the person next to you, you need to know, um, that they are trained to the, to the level that you are. That's why when they were talking about the Tokoa guys, the, the, the people who were there from day dot, from, you know, from Tokoa, from, you know, from the, the, everything right at the beginning, they've all, they've all jumped together. They've all been through the same stuff together. They've got that shared experience. They've lost the same people. Um, those are the people that the trust. I really like the fact that the the highlighted replacements because you saw the guys talking at the beginning who said you know that you know they, they were locked at like you know like movie stars almost like you know that's how much he held them in like regard high regard so to kind of focus on the fact that these guys were coming in it was no fault of their own obviously you know they just went to training school too and got trained but the difference being is is that they were landing here now um, months and months after the war had started and they'd missed so much action that although they were trained, they were still green. Um, they hadn't seen any action. They didn't know what they were going to be like under fire. Um, where you saw a few of them, even him on D-Day, he got hit in the, air, air, like the, in the airplane going over so he didn't actually land. But then the minute like you see him actually in the water, he actually really did affect them. And it was like, wow, like, would that, what do you kind of fed what, what do you've done that on day day as well you don't know because so these guys are kind of like we're just trying to keep them alive but we don't know what they're going to be like under pressure we don't know what they're going to be like when the shit well and fucking truly hits the fan which it does um and it's, it's your life on the line here so i can understand why the guys who were you know went through the full training with them at Tokoa and, and yeah but why you would trust them more and you wouldn't want to get attached to, to to the replacements because you wouldn't not that you wouldn't trust them you know like again you know that they've been trained you know that they they wouldn't be there unless they knew what they were doing but there's a difference between getting trained in a training school and knowing what it's actually like in a battlefield like your your, your mind is completely different you've got to deal with death around you all the time you know you've got to deal with your friends getting shot people getting blown up not being able to hear and just getting orders changing and running and some people can handle that and some can't and these guys want to know that the person next to them is is of the same ilk as you that can step up to the plate um yeah so i mean this show it's just it's kind of i like the fact that it highlighted that in that episode yes some of them kind of stepped up to the plate at the end and were like no we'll go and even webster was like yeah let's do it uh, and other ones you know you saw them die um, and it kind of just highlighted what they were saying at the beginning about how much they're going to lose them and they didn't want to make friends with them because, you know, you just, just hate to see them die. You know, it is what it is. To them, they were just kind of green children, even though there was only a few months before they were in exactly the same boat, but a few months can can mean the absolute world, um, especially in a war zone when, you, when you're fighting every day. Um, and uh, Buck got shot. 
it did it was a one bullet it seemed to be more than one bullet but they said it was like one hit four holes so I don't know whether it had gone like through the side through both his ass cheeks and kind of like obviously four holes has come out I don't know but he's definitely hurt so I'm a little bit I'm a little bit worried about what happened to what happened to book now does he is he gone from the army now does he get medically discharged um obviously bull is a fucking absolute machine He's, he's got some shoplin in his back. He'll be back. You know, he'll be back to look after his men. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I can say. I hope um, I hope I'm doing it justice watching this. Um, I have getting a lot of messages from you um, letting us know that you appreciate kind of how much that I'm kind of like trying to understand it and listen to it and, and get the names correct and giving everybody the respect that they deserve, which is absolutely paramount to me. Um, yeah, if you have anything that you'd like to say, just, just drop us a comment. Just let me know. I'm sure I'll try to answer as many as I can. Again, uh, yeah, if this is your first time at the channel, I will leave a couple of links for the other ones that I have seen. And yeah, if you spent any time watching this with me today, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, yeah, Karahee.